okay so today I'm gonna talk about we're gonna uh, we're going to talk about uh, how to how to get there with live trading with wealth lab right so today we're gonna live trade a paper account yeah so a paper account is something like a virtual mode for trading so we're not going to actually connect to our brokerage we're just gonna connect to a paper account and trade live a paper account so everything is gonna happen the same way it happens with live trading like all the setups are 95 percent uh, done the same way but we're gonna connect to a paper account so basically this is actually what we are uh, where we are heading with this whole thing so we're doing coding research and back testing and then we are you know executing first this strategy code on a paper account just to double check that everything is done correctly and after that we can throw it into a brokerage and trade uh this algo live on a on a real account right so let's go and one more thing is going to do is going to send us emails right so you can actually use this if you don't want to trade it live you don't trust it you can just use this for alerts to be sent to your email with and you don't have to do anything okay so just set it up once so let me show you how this is done and you go the first thing you want to do is set up your email right so you go uh, to preferences and email settings and I have Gmail so you set up the Gmail host you can find it you know very easily uh, just Google whatever email service you have just Google uh, just Google what you want to uh, SMP SMTP host and your email service name and it's gonna give it to you okay so then you set up the SMTP port and for Gmail with SSL enabled it's 587 which worked for me now next this is the email address you want emails to be sent to and this is the this is my login credentials right for Gmail right so that's how I log in and I send myself emails send the test email and that that should return uh, sorry sorry my Skype just fired off <clears throat> okay so uh, the email right this is your login credentials send yourself a test email and should work fine if you have Gmail should work fine with these uh, settings okay next uh, next thing I did is I wrote um, I, I wrote a simple strategy it's not even a strategy it's just a, a test code that uh, enters the market a lot of times like on every single bar almost it enters the market right so I'm just gonna explain the rules just so you understand how orders are placed in wealth lab and the rules are, are like really really simple if the bar closes below uh, the previous close we enter short if the bar closes above the previous uh, bar uh, close we enter long right and so basically in order to enter long we have to receive a signal which is enter long and that signal is received on uh, once the bar is closed right so let's see for example signal enter right here the bar closes higher than this bar closed the previous bar closed so right after the bar closes we receive an enter an enter signal right and because we receive an enter signal we tell the strategy to enter the market buy at market on the next bar right so right after this bar is closed we're gonna get an alert yeah which tells us that we have to enter the market on the next bar on this one right so and you can see here that this is the signal enter bar yeah and right here the buy order is executed and this bar is just left uh, as a signal as you know a virtual bar which is going to receive some kind of exit signal and our exit signal is very simple it's just wait one bar after you enter the market okay and right here I received the exit signal right after the bar closes because you know the code spins only once every bar is closed so right here I got it and the order is placed a market exit order is placed on the next bar okay so I, I hope that's clear so once I have this strategy code done or any other strategy code done I want to try and run it on a, on a paper account okay and uh, what else uh, this code I also did a little debug window which 
is gonna show us the following right so like 813 is the number of the bar right here you can see the number of the bar and if I mouse over bar it's 813 and it's just gonna tell us is position active false right so okay and is that true and signal exit was true on this bar and on this bar right after it closed it looked for an open position and of course it didn't found one because in this bar uh, uh, and market exit order was executed so we don't have a position and we get a, uh, his position active false return okay okay so next thing you want to do uh, is uh, actually you go into accounts right and in your accounts you have well if you have like um, a live account connected you're gonna get a you're gonna it's gonna show up right here but if you don't you can trade on a paper account and you can actually configure your paper account like this you select it right here and you can you know you can select uh, how many you can you know you know you can like input right here what's like the what's the start account cash balance right and it's gonna you know it's gonna trade using that money right it's gonna use that uh, uh, this account for, for for paper trading so this is your paper account your virtual account right okay so so you got let's say we got a hundred thousand dollars right here on a press ok update ok and make sure it's clean no history here ok so I select paper account one I don't know why it hasn't updated but uh, doesn't matter really maybe I ah that's it update balance okay now now it's okay okay so this is your accounts page I'll just keep it open like this right here and it's gonna stay okay next is our orders right oh let me just uh, remove completed uh, this is some orders that I had okay so our orders is something uh, this so basically after the order is placed it goes into the account and it becomes a position right okay so orders uh, you have to select in order for it to work you have to select right here auto trading paper accounts right so and right here account paper account one right so you have to tell wealth lab that we're gonna trade live using our paper account okay next is the strategy monitor and the strategy monitor is um, a place th where the actual strategy that we want to trade goes right so right here we add a strategy that we were just discussing I add it right here and we get this little window uh, show up right here and right now I need to select a data set on which I'm going to trade so basically if like if you have fidelity you will have probably fidelity show up here uh, and you can go live trading but uh, if you want to trade paper account you can just use Google if you don't have your brokerage set up yet you can just use Google and like I tried using IQ feed and it didn't let me because it doesn't allow for paper account trading so hopefully I mean luckily Google has got it uh, and it's working so right here I select Google uh, select the data range that you want to load don't select the all data like select only the data you need for indicators you know to become valid and uh, I mean the, the, the bigger period you put in right here you know every bar is gonna spin that period and it's gonna take uh, much more time to execute so make sure you you understand that okay and this is important so account right here I gotta select paper account right so you can uh, you see we have paper account one here paper account one here and paper account one here so everything is connected right so trade type well it doesn't really matter okay so uh, and this is every that's all you got to do right here right so if Google selected and these you can take use prefer search parameter values but you don't have to take anything here for for the, the thing to work uh, but we're not gonna talk about these uh, right now we're just gonna make it work and that's it okay so press ok and that's it next is you right click this strategy and well first of all 
before you actually right click uh, you can see that this is set to auto place right and this is important because uh, if you go change settings you're gonna get the same dialogue here and you if you actually if you would have had this checkbox selected here it would have said auto auto stage here and then all your orders would not uh, be placed they would stage and they would not get executed until you confirm so basically make sure you got auto place there otherwise it's not gonna work you're gonna have to confirm every single order okay so let's open the strategy in the strategy window and I got the strategy window open let me just do that and let me just open my little debug select topmost so it stays on top okay so I'm actually almost set up right now and what I want to do and I want Google now to update this graph on every every minute right and in order for that to work you go to oops you go to preferences and you go to streaming data and you make sure that the provider you you are using is ticked here otherwise it's not gonna work okay and now you, I press stream okay and now it's streaming right it now it's streaming and actually it's already issuing alerts right so you can see that this bar has just closed down right now and this is bar number you can see right here this is bar number 646 and on 646 it tells us is position active true well yes we have a position active and actually on this bar we just issued an order yeah an alert came up right here to sell by market and you can see uh, it says absolutely true that we bought at 188.26 and now we want to exit the market okay now we exited now we don't have any alerts right all right so and in order for this whole thing to start working now you just go and select and just press uh where is that sorry you just press activate strategy and that's it now this whole thing is gonna work so if if we get an alert right now it's going to go into the orders right here into the account and is going to email you that alert so I'll just pause the video and come back in like five minutes when I get some stacks here you can actually see the first one is already right here because this bar uh, this is a cell bar signal exit bar and this bar is just closed down let's see where it close here you go signal enter was just uh, is just issued an alert to buy right um, and that's that's it, it just went right there okay I'll just pause and come back in a few minutes okay it appeared to be not working because I forgot to press one button and you can see that well you see they they're not going anywhere right so and well that's because I did not press you go to alerts and you press auto place auto email and right here as well auto place right uh, and that's it now it should work come back in 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 few in just a few minutes right so okay so now you can see that the first order so you can see the alert went here to buy yeah and straight after we got the alert we actually already bought at 10843 and you're actually uh, you don't even see the trade yet executed in the trades because the bar hasn't spent yet but it has already on this bar it has already uh, executed uh, well it, 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 it uh, so you see the signal enter here so it placed an order on this bar and at 10843 it bought by market right you can see that we have a position a long position opened right so first it went into the orders the order status got filled buy at market quantity one fill price and you can see that first it issued see now the alert is gone 
So it first issued an alert, then issued an order, and then came in, and then it, and then it, uh, it became a position. And you can see, see there it is, 108, 43. Uh, it has bought. You can see it in the trades. It's right here, 108, 43, 108, 43. Okay, so now. Uh, on this bar now it's gonna issue once the bar closes we're gonna get a signal exit right so let's just wait for one minute so you can see that this works and right now just as slow as uh, just as the bar closes it's gonna issue an alert which is gonna go through this strategy monitor and become an order and an order will be executed by market on the next bar okay uh let's see how that happens and well that's uh that's about it so okay so you can see uh signal exit on this bar went into alerts sell and you can see we don't have a position anymore so sell it's sold and you can see the order was filled and it was called uh sell right and it was sold by the price of 108.38 we don't have any more position but we have it in the trade history it's 108.38 right just a, a few uh, uh, okay 13.52 it was the time um, when the order was issued and you can see right here the date and time is also 13.52 so it did the job correctly right so this is how you do it this is live trading and this is the way it's gonna work for any live account out there right so just the same way it works for the paper account okay so enjoy